movie goers this week will see actor Madhavan in a lead role after about four years. 13B, touted as a supernatural thriller, sees the talented actor break out of the ensemble cast that he's become a specialist in. An accidental actor? Today Madhavan takes us through his take on his movie career on Beautiful People. Madhavan, it's great to have you on Beautiful People. We've been wanting to have you actually on the show for about six months now, but you've been traveling and been incredibly busy. Yes, it's an honor finally to be here. Yeah, and yeah. I, <laughs> thank you so much. Tell me about 13B. 13B, uh, as uh, people assume, uh, is a horror film, hmm. but the fact is very different. It's not really a horror film. It's okay. a thriller. And I, when I mean by a thriller, hmm. uh, it's a supernatural thriller because uh, we don't have the boo factor in the film. In a okay. sense, we don't have a a dirty uh, face jumping out of you uh, at yeah. you from outside a cupboard or, or, or ghostly images or garish faces or blood or go. Yeah. It's a simple story that we will tell you and you will, we will chill your spine. And the source of horror is supposed to be television? We have started taking the TV as a great support in our lives, as a, yeah. as a, as a uh, excuse to get rid of our loneliness. Yeah. So even though we live in a crowd, we are fairly lonely because we hardly get time to speak to other people face to face. So. The TV has moved up and decides now the power equation in a family. Yeah. So whoever has the remote control is the boss of the house. Yeah. That goes without saying. So what if the TV, instead of showing you the truth, starts showing you something that it wants you to see? and thereby starts taking over your family and that's what the hero of the film starts to experience. And for someone who's worked a <laughs> lot in television, at least and in the early years, yeah. is, this, is this revenge, Madhavan? I will tell you that the, f that the villain of the film is not the TV. Okay, that, that's a relief. Okay. <laughs> tell me, Madhavan, uh, you know, new, this, is hair, this hair is new, right? What's my hair? What are you yeah, mean by yeah. that? What I mean by new <laughs> is that it's a new look. Uh, yeah. I, you lost yeah. weight again. What I'm trying to say in a backhanded way is that you're looking good. Thank you very and much. And for an okay. actor, at the end of the day, the appearance is really almost three-fourths of the success. One does like to look attractive because um, part of my job is to want people want me so uh, I think keeping in, in track with that I had to pull up my socks and make sure that I don't look like a like somebody who's uh, totally easy going with his life yeah. so yeah I did lose weight and start uh, looking a little far fitter than I um, yeah. uh, than I was looking earlier yeah. but also it's got to do with the film that I'm doing which is yeah. uh, three idiots and we're playing much younger characters yeah. so we wanted to push that off uh, pull that off with uh, with as much uh, convincing uh, as possible. Uh, yeah, as much, yeah. Okay, exactly. so it's got to do with the role, right? Also. But I don't think 75% uh, is the look. It doesn't matter how beautiful you look and how yeah. uh, attractive you look. At the end of the day, your work has to speak for you. Yeah. And if the audiences who are the final masters are not able to accept you uh, for whatever reason, be you ugly or, uh, or beautiful for that matter, then, uh, then you're doing something wrong. When you look at people reacting to you, what is it that you think people look for or are getting from you? Is it the role or is it the image that you seem to suggest? Have you thought about this? Yes, it's a very, very nice yeah. question because very few people actually can ask a question like that. But I hope I'm able to make myself clear when I answer that one is simply, yeah. I don't want to know. See, the thing is, the moment I come to know, yeah. I will work towards it. I honestly don't know what people find attractive or charming yeah. or what I, with yeah. what I do. And I want to let it be like that because I want to continue what I'm doing. Mm. Uh, the moment I come to know that that is the USP that I'm working, I have a feeling it's, become, it's going to become synthetic. I have a feeling that I will start harping on it uh, subconsciously more and, and maybe the inter and the overall charm will suddenly go away. So I'm just playing it by the year. I know I'm being myself completely. You're not kidding me, are you? Because over the years, there have been film stars who perfected certain mannerisms. Even today, you have Shah Rukh Khan who will, you know, crinkle his eyes in a certain way and you know that there will be a reaction to that or he'll dimple in a particular way. I'm sure you have certain tricks under your, yeah. you know, up your sleeve as well. Yes. To be completely nakedly truthful, I mm. guess I'm not, mm. I can't do, uh, I'm not that. Yeah. I mean, when I was in TV, even when I was uh, doing ads, uh, I couldn't resort to any form of style or gimmickry to enhance my characters. There was just plain naked me. Yeah. Uh, one of the be best examples I could possibly give you was Rang De Basanti. Yeah. In the film, believe it or not, I'm only there for nine minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be a very, very cameo. But in that nine minutes, I had to convince the audience that I'm a worthy enough friend for them to give their lives up for. I have, I'm a worthy enough son, yeah. I'm a worthy enough lover and a worthy enough mm. patriotic citizen of this country. Mm. Nine minutes is not, you know, you, you spend an entire film to try and to convince one of those. Mm. 
So uh, I remember Rakesh and Amir sitting with me and trying to work out their character and I told them the only way the public is going to feel any sort of remorse for my death would be if they came to know or thought that Madhavan had died and not the character. So I had decided to play all those scenes as without an, a bit of acting, like I would do it normally, like I would actually be myself. That worked. And how? Well, it worked God's and grace, how? yeah. It, it but, you know, you just mentioned that in Rangde Basanti you were on screen for about nine minutes, Madhavan. That's unusual, isn't it, for an actor and for an actor who's played conventional hero or main lead to pick roles which offer little time but meet? What, how do you pick your films? What do you say when it, a script comes to you? I'm very selfish mm. when it comes to a situation like that. I'd like to pick films that will go into the archives mm. in one way, in one form or the other. Mm. I select films on the basis of the fact um, uh, of whether I would like to see them in the theatre myself, firstly, mm. and whether I would like to have a DVD copy of that film. Mm. It is unusual for a conventional hero to have this outlook, because you ha you have played the hero and the lead. Yeah, well, here's the deal. I'm not a conventional hero yet. I was never meant to be mm. part of this industry. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was dragged into it by Providence, and I'm, mm. uh, I'm, I'm surprised I've survived 10 years. But since the time you came to Bombay, <coughs> whether it's television or the movies, you've been acting. Yes. No, I'm not saying uh, mm. I, I, I don't respect it or appreciate mm. it. But I didn't take it seriously when, I, when it first happened to me, right? Mm. I'm only saying that I started taking it seriously when people started saying I'm an actor mm. or a good actor or when Mani Ratnam started casting mm. me. So uh, I'm still a very reluctant star. I mean, I, I f still feel very embarrassed when, mm. um, when I get mobbed in a crowd and I, it is an mm. out-of-body experience for me. I don't know if people will believe that, but it truly is. I'm not sure people will believe I know, that. Not after more fact. than 10 years of being a well-known star. I'm only a well-known star in the South. But I'm not really a superstar in, 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 in Hindi. I've, mm. I've been accepted in uh, the stars are the, the likes of Shah Rukh and Hrithik mm. and everybody else. What do you think is the strange thing that stardom is? Because all the stars we know are different and yet they exert this huge appeal on the masses. You know, uh, I've never been asked such tough questions but it's a good thing. I think people assume um, uh, project backwards uh, from what characters you've done in the films to assume that that is your original personality mm. and therefore admire, like or uh, dislike you. Mm. Um, the kind of stories and films that I have done in my life which encompasses the TV or Rangri Basanti mm. have generally been the nice people, the romantic guy, the boy next door, the kind of person you would uh, you know, feel comfortable with and everything and therefore that those attributes are automatically contributed to my mm. original self which may, may or might not be true. Uh, but for a star, that is his bread and butter and that's why it's important for the public to think and continue to think like that uh, so that there's more appeal with what yeah. he does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I figured, I think, um, because I figured that out, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I figured that out much earlier in my life. Mm -hmm. And I realized that if I have to be, uh, if I have to hang around here for long enough to do the kind of work that I like to do, then I just have to make them fall in like, love with what, who I am. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I do not like the magic about Mm. a film actor to go away. Mm. You can't be so crass and so mm. uh, non-desirable mm. that uh, you know people stop finding you unattractive as a person. Mm. That you can't let happen. Mm.